Hi, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sandy Clark, and I live in British Columbia, Canada. I've been asked by a few YouTubers to be a part of a campaign that I'm hoping is going to explode because it is so important. This campaign is called Hashtag ABC um, Awareness Campaign. And it is an anti-bullying campaign. And I think it's really important that um, we all become part of this because it, it, it's destroying a lot of our youth um, and adults as well. Bullying is a sickness that is wreaking havoc. Uh, and it doesn't need to be this way. It's been around for years and years and years and years and far as far back time. I mean, I don't even know when it all started. It's probably been around since the dawn of time, but um, it has manifested itself into some pretty serious stuff. Um, I would like to show you, tell you the definition the Wikipedia definition of bullying is the use of force, coercion, or threat to abuse, aggressively dominate, or intimidate. Uh, I think it goes a little beyond that as well. You know, there's so many different aspects of bullying um, that go right from childhood up until you're uh, a senior, right? And it's, it's just, it's horrible. It's horrible to think that a person can go through their whole life, their whole lifespan, being bullied in one form or another. It's sad. It makes me angry. And I'm really hoping that at some point it's going to stop. Um, people who have been bullied, so many things can manifest from this whether it's depression, substance abuse, criminal behavior, uh, suicide, um, or becoming a bully themselves. You know, I, it's just, it, when I went on the computer and I started actually looking at the different websites and all the information, I went through this rabbit hole. I went down the rabbit hole of information that just blew my mind. This is just for Canada or BC um, that just absolutely makes me ill. Canada was rated 26th and 27th out of 35 countries um, for bullying and for being victims of being bullied. Unbelievable. 64% uh, of kids have been bullied in school. 12% were bullied regular, regularly. 13% of bullies, 13% uh, 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 bullied other students regularly. 72% observed bullying. 40% tried to intervene. That's a good number, should be bigger. 64% uh, considered bullying, uh, 20 to 50% said that bullying can be a good thing. <laughs> Hello, what? They said that it makes people tougher uh, and is a good way to save a prob solve a problem. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. Uh, 25 to 33 percent said bullying is sometimes okay or that it's okay to pick on losers. <sighs> 61 to 80 percent said bullies are often popular and enjoy high status among their peers. Oh. I just, I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, one of 5% of 
or one one of five Canadian teenagers have witnessed online bullying. Twenty five percent of kids between 12 and 15 witness cyberbullying. 25 percent of girls, 17 percent of boys witness online harassment. Uh, 16 percent um, said someone posted embarrassing photos of them. 12 percent said someone hacked their account. Like. I am absolutely, absolutely just blown by these stats. Absolutely blown. Um, this, this is something that really blew my mind and really pissed me off. 90% of parents are familiar with cyberbullying. 73% are either very or somewhat concerned about it. 73%. That's it. Two in five parents reported their child has been involved in cyberbullying incident. 73% of educators are familiar with the issue. 76% uh, believe cyberbullying is a very or somewhat serious problem in their school. Only 76%. I could go on and on and on with the stats. Um, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is the stats aren't even the real stats. Because... This does not include the people that don't speak up, right? I think these stats are a lot higher. You know, how many of us have been bullied in, in our past or are being bullied now and don't say a word? Um, <laughs> I think it, it, the number is way higher than they're saying it is. When I was in elementary school, I ended up trying to help someone who was being bullied. I was new to the school, um, and I didn't have any friends. All my friends were in a different school. I had just moved to North Vancouver. And I saw this girl on the ground in the, in the school, not outside the school, in the school, being kicked and punched by about six other kids. These were grade seven kids. Um, so me thinking this isn't right, went in and tried to break it up and tried to protect this girl. I was thin. I was this stick figure little kid, but I was like, I'm going to do this for the greater good. I went in there and I broke it up and ultimately ended up having it turned on me. Uh, these, I, I ended up being stalked as I walked home. I was only a block away from my school. Uh, I lived a block away from my school and I was stalked every day. Um, me and my friend, we went down to the mall and one of the kids was down at the mall and they ended up stalking us throughout the mall. And this one girl was uh, a couple feet away from me and she started kicking me. Um, nobody did anything. All the adults that were around me never did a thing. It wasn't until a security guard saw us 
and tried to break it up. These kids were telling me that they were going to kill me. The, I phoned my dad and my dad sent a taxi to the mall and we ran to the taxi and got home okay. Shortly after that, one of the kids followed me home from school and I ran as fast as I could to get into my building. It was a locked building, so I knew that if I could get to the building, she couldn't get me. What I didn't anticipate was somebody coming out of the building shortly after I walked in and she opened the door. She pinned me up against the wall and pulled out a knife. If it hadn't have been for somebody coming out of the elevator, she probably would have stabbed me. Um, and I didn't even say anything to the guy that walked out of the elevator. I was so scared. I just, I didn't say a word and he didn't even notice. I could have died that day. Um, I promptly told my dad. My dad pulled me out of the school. Um, I ended up going to high school um, I was because I was in grade seven going into grade eight and uh, one of the bullies family members was in the high school and the bullying continued so I became introverted um, I didn't talk to anybody really, but this is happening to many, 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 many of our children. You know, um, and it just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because when you're in that situation, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. You don't know who to talk to. You don't know who to trust. Um, and it can be very scary place to be. Now, I believe that the bullies, they're products of things that have happened to them, whether it be abuse, um, or just anger absolute terrorizing anger that is building up inside of them because of whatever situation they are in and they're taking it out on others you know we need to be able to see the signs of what's going on with our children and we need to actually care about what's happening to our children you know um somebody if, if a child is in an abusive home, an alcoholic home, uh, a drug abusive home, or whatever, they are going to act out, you know, and we need to see the signs and we need to be able to help these children, you know, get them the help that they need before the bullying begins, you know, and we need to be able to help the children that are being bullied. We need to see those signs as well. Are they withdrawn? Are they, are their grades dropping? Are, do they have no interest in the outside world? Are they immersed in, um, video games and they're locked in their room and their room is dark? Are they, you know, like there's so many different things that you can see and sense. Go with your gut. If you think there might be something wrong, there probably is, you know, uh, and we've got to help these kids. We've got to help them. 
you know so keep your eyes and ears open and don't be afraid to talk to your children your children may lash out they may be angry because they don't want to talk about it maybe they're embarrassed um, whatever the case may be keep on them keep talking to them right but don't do it aggressively because that's not doing them any favors either and it's not doing you any favors you know you, you need to just be present right i with my children i think i dropped the ball as a parent um i didn't see the signs um back then we didn't have the anti-bullying campaigns that we have now uh, I, I had no idea my kids were being bullied I didn't have a clue they didn't talk to me um, they were acting out and I just thought well that's just them acting out right I didn't have a freaking clue you know and uh, I really regret that I really regret that because that starts shaping who they're going to be as an adult you know and I I really wish I had have talked to my kids more and been a little more present to understand what they're going through I wish they had have opened up to me and I wish I had have known what to do there are loads of different companies different websites different organizations that can help with this and i'm going to list those down below i did find out that my youngest was being picked on um i wrote a poem when i was on a job site years and years ago and my sister said you need to put that into a book and you need to get it into schools so i did it's called Bully Robin Redbreast. And I wrote this um, for my daughter. And I sent it across Canada in the big libraries. And then I didn't get it out to the schools like I wanted it to. But it's... A wonderful little book and I really think that it speaks to little children that are about to get into kindergarten and it talks to them about if you're being bullied talk to someone you know go to your teacher go to your parents go to go to an adult that you trust and talk to them and tell them what's happening and you know I wish that more kids would do that and I wish more adults would be there for them you know I think that some of the adults are also the problem right there's lots of lots of people let lots of an adults that just sit there and say exactly that you know what I was saying is that oh it toughens you up or oh don't be such a sissy or you know oh don't worry about it it'll pass you'll grow out of this stage you know those kids end up in very bad situations so they need and then that breaks the trust between the child and the adults you know because then they feel like well nobody is there for me you know and that is a very sad place to be we don't want our children in that situation I'd like to thank you for joining me today uh, on this campaign and I invite you to click the links down below if you live in Canada and I would also like you to check out all the other channels that are being part of this campaign. Uh, they have um, all of the information that you need if you live in the States or in Australia uh, and all around the world. 
and uh, I hope that you help this fight to help our children. And if you're an adult that is being bullied online, or if you're being bullied at home or at work, you know, find some help, please. Because you're an adult, you know this isn't right. And you, you need to go and find the help that you need. And there's lots of help out there if you just look for it. And people will have their hand out for you. And they will have a hug for you. And they will help you through it. Okay, so thank you so much. I love you all. And stay safe. Okay. Bye.